Because, like, ooh, look at that. Oh, it's even got water. I like this planet. We're, we're going to live here. Uh, let's see. So I got to find... I don't even remember. Okay. Wait, what is that? Terrain manipulation. Oh, I see. So we got to actually pick missions here. Giving me her beans. These are journey milestones. Here we go. Brain manipulation. So dihydrogen jelly and carbon nanotubes. We pretty much already know that stuff. Okay, so we got the dihydrogen jelly, but we need the nanotubes. Which means I need carbon, which means I need to chop down some trees. Let's see. Ow. I will kill myself by falling in this. That is a guaranteed situation. Uh, let's see. I guess I'm just going to start chopping down trees at least for... Ooh, those were nice looking ships. I want. I do kind of wish uh, those would occasionally like crash or you could shoot them down and like take them for yourself. I realize that's like kind of the aggressor option, but like it would be nice. I don't know. I should probably also scan these things. There's just a lot for me to kind of do here. That's going to take a while. And yeah, don't forget to scan everything. The aggressor, aggressor options should be a thing. Yeah, kind of. I, you know, I, I've been playing at least a little bit of uh, Rebel Galaxy Outlaw over the past couple days. And it's one of those games that, like, really made me appreciate good dogfighting. And I realized playing this that, like, No Man's Sky is actually a couple of updates away from having very similar combat and, just, like, overall mechanics. I'm like, it would be pretty dang rad to actually sit down and, uh, and play, like, a, an inevitable, like, freelancer-ish patch for No Man's Sky. I realize, I don't think combat's really supposed to be their, their, like, main focus. But it'd still be pretty satisfying to have, like, a number of more missions dedicated specifically to combat. I know they already have, like, hunt down X critter, but it's, like, it's not the same. Oh, I'm looking forward to having a better setup here. Oh, right, we're going to rename the Unholy Fart Plant. Can I do that? Ah, uh, Discoveries. Okay, so we want to do... It's fauna? Oh. Well, they're kind of cute in a kind of horrifying way. There we are. Okay, rename and upload. Okay, so we now have the unholy fart plant. Everything else, I don't know. Hopefully that'll uh, show up whenever we interact with one. Is that another one? Is that a, no, that's just a regular oxygen plant. Tagged a copper deposit. Must not be anywhere nearby. I've already interacted with that. Okay. Do we have any copper nearby? I guess the easy answer is knowledge stone, knowledge stone. We've already done those, I think. Copper deposit. Yeah, a lot of knowledge stones on this planet. It also does not look like there's any bad weather here. It's just beautiful. Like the only the only quote unquote bad thing about it are the unholy fart plants, and like that's very small beans. Let's see, so we want to craft two carbon nanotubes. 
Let's see, so now we have the terrain manipulator. Ooh. Then we must go get things. There was an ice storm before. I must not have been paying too much attention, but... I've noticed... I don't know if it's my mouse or maybe it was the terrain, but I noticed I tend to, like, slowly sidle in one direction. Okay, there we go. But hold on. How do I... Okay, scan creatures with the analysis of visor to discover their bait. Ah! That's a pushy something or other. Okay, what are your baits? Bait is scented herbs. Scented herbs. I have a lot of buried tech modules that I should probably go for, but uh, time consuming. They're cute little suckers, kind of, sort of. I've learned five words. I am better than a baby. Suck it, babies. All right, copper. Wow, holy crap. One, copper looks really pretty. I mean, obviously, like, the quality drops as it tries to just, tries to figure out, like, what the heck the texture should look like. But also, like, I don't know how many of you guys were around back in the old days where I got really excited about that, like, giant super deposit of emerald because it was, like, the first amount of money that I'd ever, like, gotten my hands on in this game. Times have changed. I just, I just ate that deposit. Holy sh shoot. Like, I was, I was expecting that to, I don't know, take some time. I was wrong. Oh boy, there's a lot around here. Dung sample, copper deposit. We're gonna keep going for the copper deposits. We might as well pick up a bunch while we're here. And also poo! It's dookie. Finding beam, get out of here. Bad bitey. I wish to search dung sample. Okay, so we're the... Oh, what the... Oh. Hi. Enzyme fluid. I'm back. Interested in other food. It's cute. It's got, like, the teeniest eyes. It actually looks like the textures haven't loaded in properly on it. They're very cute, though. Okay, where the heck was I going? Because there's supposedly a copper deposit, like, right around here. Or, no, that's the copper deposit I was at. And summarily ripped you... ...reds. Do you want me to buy you a copy of this game so you can like just wander around and look at uh, look at critters for like the next couple hours? This one's a little horrifying. <laughs> it just pooped. We get more feshium. Recently fed, feeling happy. I will feed you poop. As that is primarily the only thing that I have. Well, immersion has gone up by a considerable amount. Now the critters just poop all over the place. That's that's pretty accurate. Ish. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna just discard the creature pellets. And we're just gonna... Oops. I'm probably just gonna devour meaty chunks for a little while. I have a lot of random crap. It's a bit of an issue. 
Okay, so what do I need for this? Sodium nitrate. Apparently I have some. Cool. Holy crap! Something has gone on a shitting spree. Look at this. It's it's Duke's day here. Everything's everything's kung fu pooping. Well, okay, that that poop is just sunk into the ground and not cannot be interacted with. But I will interact with as much poop as I can. Maybe for reason. Well, are you sure you don't want to get in in on this? There's so much poop that you can get your grubby little mit mitts on. An endless field of shit. I'm assuming it's fertilizer, yeah. I'm not... I'm not really sure. <laughs> this is a nice looking planet though, comparatively. I like how they handled the grass in this game. I know they're still doing the flat textures. Also, the texture pop-in seems to be having some serious parables. Ooh, hi, look at this. Dave. Anything interesting that I can scan. Scan all this stuff? Okay. I'm assuming this is just more marrow bulbs, yeah? Yeah. I know you used to need like a stupid amount of marrow bulbs, but I think they've changed it. Question, can I just go up here and interact with this? No, I need hazmat gauntlets to interact with it. It's a neat looking cave. One thing we could do I don't think I'd want to do it this year, but it might not be a terrible idea to find like a really cool looking cave and put the base inside of it. Let's see, any critters? Oh, we've just got a buried tech module like right there. Let's see, can we make a house at a beach that tunnels into a cave? Yeah. Potentially. Because I really enjoyed my, uh, my Never Leave the Vault series, because, like, those tunnels were really cool to, like, build a base in. Hi. That's a cool-looking thing. What do we not need? Uh, I was about to throw away the antimatter, but that's silly. Okay, so I should probably keep my eye out for buried tech modules. They're everywhere, and I know I'm going to need them. If I remember right, they're, they're how we used to unlock new bits along the way. I'm also pretty sure I haven't interacted with these. Yep. Spiky interloper word for death. Sorry. I'm a student. I'm a student of the world. The student of space. The student of Sparche. Ah. Oh, I see. That's that's farting at me. Let's see if the texture's been improved. Yeah, they have. I'm still noticing Madcap pop in here. But it does seem like the textures are way better. And like the visuals and stuff. I, I like the little like floaty bits too. Like the planets look nice. But that's always been kind of true. Stop with the... Yeah. It really wants me to know about this thing. I just don't care about it. Eh, whatever. I'm just gonna... Nope. I'm just gonna discard the radiation protection. I don't need it. Let's see. But yeah, No Man's Sky has always been very picturesque. And there's some really, like, crappy-looking planets, and there's some absolutely amazing-looking planets out there. And every iteration, like, I still hope they they buff up the... Wait, can I scan this? Nope, can't scan it. 
I, I do hope they buff up the terrain generation and make it uh, way more varied, because currently this is nice, but I still want, like, mega mountains all over the place. When and where possible. See anything else? Fairy tech there. We. Oops. Right, I forgot. The moment you go into pre fall mode. Oops. Unidentified planet. Or plant. Let's see. Don't you also mean. Or do you mean multiple biomes? Yeah, multiple biomes would be nice. I mean, technically, you kind of have, like, mountains and, like, beach areas and stuff, but it's not quite the same. But no. What I would like is... Yeah, definitely multiple biomes per planet. That would make a massive difference. Where's my ship? There's my ship. That was a good launch. Hey! That's a really nice looking, just like, sheer rock face. The, uh, the cliffs and stuff have have started to look a lot nicer. Like, this this looks awesome. I really like that. Okay, anyway, let's stop in here for a second. Okay. Why? What happened? What the hell hit me? I'm not near anything. Ugh! Nope. Battery... Sh nope, that's not my shield. What? Oh, life support failure, of course. It's not that the animal uh, that was chasing me was hitting me. It's that I was out of life support and I'd stopped paying attention because... doesn't tick up. Whatever. Here's my stuff. Well, I got my life support back, so it's not a big deal. But yeah, it wasn't that I was being chased by things. It's that I was out of life support and I wasn't paying attention because I was so ma mad about the fact... So, okay. I'm gonna recap this for people that probably weren't paying full attention and I was just getting kind of distracted. I really like the look of this thing. This area isn't terrible if I want to put a base down. Maybe? Good view. But anyway, uh, let's see. I'll do it here. Problem is there's no, well actually, this looks like a not half bad flat-ish zone to put a base down. I guess I'm just gonna start scanning these things. Okay, anyway, uh, to recap, every once in a while someone will add me as a friend on Steam. Why? Because I'm a public-facing figure, and it's not too hard to find my Steam profile, and it's just random people that want to play with me, probably. And, super frustratingly, I can do nothing about it. Like, I, I can't turn them off. I can stay offline forever, but that's about the extent of what I'm I'm capable of doing, like, to, to mitigate this. I can't get rid of that plant. Alright, well that sucks. What is even hitting me? Is it just that? Might be. I'm not sure. We're just going to grab all this extra stuff. I'm going to just hop in my ship and we're going to fly around until we find something nearby. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can find a... Uh... Let's see if we can find a, like, uh, a trade area or something. But, yeah. So, people will add me as a friend on Steam and... For those of you who somehow have missed this, there will be like a little notification that says like so and so has added you, uh, added you as a friend on Steam. And for most of you, I'm assuming you probably only get like one to three friend requests a month from people that you know. Sometimes there will be oh, unknown building. That looked like a good shop. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't see a landing pad here, but this could be kind of interesting, all the same. Uh, but yeah, so most of you probably only get a handful of friend requests. Oh. Oh, it's this one.
Okay, uh, let's see. Let's quick transfer the antimatter. Let's quick transfer the dihydrogen jelly. Let's quick transfer... What else do we have? That I'm going to just end up with some amount of microprocessors. And let's do... Nope, can't even do salvage data. I need a bigger ship for this. Okay. Anyway, this is worth it, even if it's going to suck. There we go. Oh. Oh, they shoot at you now. Oh, no. Okay. Let's see. Well, do we give myself a gun? Probably... Oh, I don't have any chromatic metal. It's not... It's not worth it. How much is this stuff worth? Larval cores. Yeah, it's worth a lot. It's worth it. Uh, even to the point where we probably want to just start eating some impulse beans while we're here. Uh, but yeah, so I just get friend requests. I'd say anywhere from like once or twice per day to a lot constantly it really depends on what's going on what I'm doing what uh, what people want from me and and so like usually it's not a big deal it doesn't bother me in the slightest it's like okay whatever I'm, I'm getting spammed uh, by like requests but baseline I'm not, I almost never record in display capture, so it never makes it into my footage. But every once in a while I'll be playing a game where I don't have a choice, and it's just like, okay. Well, suddenly, now I just have like a bunch of friend requests popping up in the bottom right corner of my screen. And I really like that. Like, imagine you're watching a Let's Play video and you suddenly see like little chat notifications popping up left and right. You probably get kind of annoyed by it. At least I do. Maybe most of you probably didn't even notice it happened, but for me it's like a pet peeve. And I used to be able to just turn this off. You know, there's straight up like a don't show this as a notification thing. But with the recent uh, Steam friends list changes that they made, they just got rid of that. Are these guys just endless? They strike me as endless. I see, they just attack you for a little while and then give up. Let's see. So if I enable the do not disturb, I just tried that. So we're gonna we're gonna see if do not disturb fixes the issue. But like, if I had that setting originally on, they really should have just had it uh, to do not disturb right from the get go or something. I don't know. I don't like being bothered. I hate it when uh, programs that I have to use for my business are like designed poorly, because then it just becomes an inconvenience. Okay. So how many of these do I have now? I got five. We have enough space for another ten. They seem like they're a little bit more brain dead here. Let's see. Oh, that's a bunch. It also looks like there's spawn limitations. Yeah, interestingly enough, I think these things used to be more deadly. Now... Now they're kind of weak. But yeah, I know they subside if you haven't killed any... Uh, you, if you haven't busted a nest in a while. Let's see, so what do we want to get rid of? We could get rid of the Fecium. Whoops. Pistol shoot. Could be a good angle. Uh, let's see, so what do I not need? I've got a fair bit of ferrite dust. Condensed carbon, sodium... You know what? Let's... Uh, let's get rid of the salt. I'm probably not going to need the salt, and I'm definitely not going to need, need the rusted metal for anything. I swear there's another 
egg somewhere in that. But I guess not. Okay. Screw you weird monstrosities. Oh, I will collect your eggs entirely for my own profit. Okay, there we go. Good lord. Jetpack. The level one jetpack. It it hurts to use. Okay, do I see any other yeah, I have at least one more egg cluster that I haven't harvested yet. Should probably wait. But if this is the last set, I can just grab it. And I think we're done, actually. Unless I want to, like, uh, interact with whatever's inside this place. I might want to. We should probably do that later. Let's see, so we're poaching right now? Oh, hell yeah. Alright, there we go. Uh, let's see, and I'm pretty sure this thing's out of juice. But that's okay. This is poaching for the greater good of my wallet. But also, like, is it poaching if you're killing off, like, evil alien horrors? I would argue that as far as things go, I was doing this planet a service. Let's see, Ran, have you found a spaceport? Or are you not really looking for anything? It'd be really cool if we could find a spaceport around here. Okay, that's Ran's base. Here, focused on building it first. I was hoping I could, uh... I was hoping I could find a spaceport or like a, a trade area to build my base next to. Because if I can have that, I can go shopping. It'll ease my financial woes at the very least. Oh, hi. Alright, sure, why not? All the flying ships to find spaceports. Oh, yeah. Good point. Let's see, can I interact with this sucker? There we go. Log extraction complete. Read log. Life goes on, day after day, delivering after I hope to go home soon. The life of uh, is not for one like me. Multiple sentinel, sentinel energy signatures detected, requiring immediate Dropping out of warp. There, There's the sentinels. What are they doing? Fighting each other. The Sentinel ships are engaging each other. Ignoring us for now. The Sentinels appear to have departed. They are... Distress signal nearby. Broadcasting 16 on repeat. I'm going to take a look. The swarm is subsiding. Ooh, wait. Hold on. Can I go inside this? Oh, no. I can... I mean, I kind of can. Damaged panel. Oh! <gasps> Look at this! Cargo pod requires copper. And I get nanites. Let's see, do we got anything else in here? But yeah, I've always said it would be cooler if you could actually, like, go into these things. It looks like you can do that now. Oh, that's nice. Nope, gotta wait for this. 
Uh, let's see. So we got a lot of larval cores. So once we find some kind of trading area, this will be beautiful. Hi. Probably needs more copper. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I guess in retrospect, that's not actually that much money. It seems like a lot, especially at this point in the game. But like, that's still a decent chunk of cash to just like pick up at this point. Do you want to go up in there? Oh, you can go up in there now. I don't know if I need to or want to, but I should. So maybe go to the station? As far as I've seen, there's actually no station yet. Let's see. Bridge would be up there, wouldn't it? Because this looks dead and crappy. I'm not sure if I can get up there. Let's see what I can do. Okay, yeah. I'm nope, gonna leave that for another day. Another time when I have substantially more powerful jetpacks. Doesn't look like there's an entrance in that one anyway. Okay. Yeah, sometimes there's like special things inside of these, but I think I found parts of them. Okay. Uh, let's see. Anything else I want to do? Nope. Let's see, land the ship on it. Uh, that is an option. It doesn't look like there's anything there, though. Oof. Like, it looks like a giant spoiler. Nothing more. I'm just gonna fly around for a little while. See if we can find another structure or two. Because all I need is, like... All, I mean, all I would like is a spaceport to land next to and interact with. I guess, actually, you know what I can do? Better than that. Let's go, let's just go piggyback off of Rand's base. I, d I don't want to put any effort into base building until I find the perfect spot. A, spo a spoiler on a spaceship. Hey, I don't judge. But yeah, I, I figure let's just piggyback back off of what his base has. And then we'll uh we'll find a better spot at a later date. Oh, hold on, what is that? Oh, that's a ruin down there. I wanted to do it. I mean I've still got some fuel. Is usually worth something. Okay, so we have a humming sack there. Oh, album and pearls. More sky fish. Yeah, I really like this this starting. Well, I guess it's not exactly a starting planet, but it's de facto, de facto one. We learn the interloper word for you. Nothing on that orb. Orb! The interloper word for pathetic! The imprint of an ancient civilization was once absorbed by this strange marker. The story of the Viking somehow spills out in the language... in the language of my own people. The noble travelers will be spared. Their journey through the cosmos shall not be thwarted, so it is decreed. The will of Herc demands, commands it. The Viking shall honor the commandment and the belief of the ancients. Uh, seek help with language. My knowledge of the Viking increases. Learned a couple of words. Now, there used to be things like buried underground here. I guess there's the album in Pearl.
There we go. Haven't scanned that thing. But honestly, well, do I go for it anyway? Actually, we should. Uh, let's see, we should probably also eat some Jade Peas. I wish you could see my life support on this menu. Because yeah, album and pearls are not exactly the most common. And I know I can I know I can farm them at a later date. Doesn't look like it pissed off any sentinels either, so that's kinda nice. Wait, hold on. Somebody said, follow these ships. They're going into space, though. Yeah. So, chances are I'm not going to find what I'm looking for. Wander, do you have a storm going on? Nope, no storms. Maybe storm now? But yeah, I'll, I will... I'll go looking for a landing point later. We're just gonna piggyback off of this cube. I guess it's a rectangular prism, but still! Accessing log from previous user. Entry 4925D follows. Storm sweeping across, but construction supplies low. Depositing shelter plans will need to back soon. Extract plans. Okay, so we learned how to make wooden walls. Bases provide shelter from harsh planetary conditions. Recharging your hazard protection. As your base grows, it will grant access to many advanced technologies. The construct shelter, expand your base, return to your base, and store process items as you explore. Cool. Okay, so we're logged in as a guest. Base operational, base controls limited, construction permissions unlocked. Sweet, I can add walls! Construction research unit. Analysis unit online. Indicate desired research path. Buildable technology. Uh, let's see. So, I have some salvage data sitting around. Yeah? Yeah. So, what do I want? Biofuel reactor. What I'm looking for is... Signal booster. So it just requires metal plating, carbon nanotubes, and sodium. We also have electrical wiring. Costs nothing, apparently. Let's see. Battery. Solar panels and hazard protection. Oh, I'm almost out. Let's get the battery. So, question. Personal teleport device, allowing the user to quickly move between their constructed base as well as any space station. Terminus is connected to their network. Yeah, so we're gonna need one of those, but that's fine. I'll let Rand build that himself. I'll get a save beacon. Okay, so now that I've gotten that... Do I have the, uh... Do I have the quest? Mainly, I guess more so than that. Uh, what do we have in here? Move that back to the exosuit. What I want to do is carbon nanotubes. And is there anything that I don't need sitting around in my inventory? I guess I'm going to move this to the starship. I was really hoping that would stack past 10. Anyway. We want to do tech... Portable. So I don't want a base computer. I want a signal booster. We. Okay, so what can we signal boost for? Outpost detection online. Navigation sub subroutines online. Exosuit upgrade unit detection online. Please select navigational task. Locate nearby structures. Planetary radar sweep. Am I 
remember what that is. Well. Let's see, while we're here, what does it take to make some more fuel? Metal plating and dihydrogen. How to die hydrogen? Uh, let's see. Got any nearby or is Rand take? Nope, there it is. Perfect. It'd be really nice if you could actually set up like a, a fueling system for your sh your ship on a uh, like on a pad at your base. That'd be really nice. Uh, let's see. Any more die hydrogen? See a whole bunch of star bulb hanging out, out up there. Yet yeah, they even show up as unholy fart plants now. Yes. Do I want to go for the star bulb? My inventory is so full that it's probably not a good idea. So we'll just make a second one of those. So that's that's enough fuel to last me. Let's see. Wonder you're gonna play more of this game or only once? Oh no, I I love playing No Man's Sky. The only reason why I usually stop is because other things uh, demand my schedule. The heck is it? Okay, there it is. I can fly. Wait, the hell? It's just like two clearings over, and we get back here. Well, whatever. We ah, flying too fast. Okay, where's this thing? Right here. Oh, it's a ship. I mean, it's a honky tonk busted ass ship, but it's still a ship. Got some nanites. Got a distress beacon. Okay, cockpit is adorned with the trophies of, the, of dead creatures. Perched on every available surface, at the control sits a tendrilled hunter. Its body and face lacerated. The dank smell of blood assails my nostrils as I fight back the nausea. The black box reveals the pilot was attacked by something whilst in flight, but it was unclear what. I could strengthen the warning beacon in the cockpit, but it would leave me vulnerable to attack. Search the ship for signs of life. Discover a ship technology blueprint. The creature that caused the carnage is thankfully long gone. Hey, teleport receiver. That's a good one. Let's take a look at this wrecked husk of a of a ship. Please tell me it's considerably better than. Yep, that's a, that's pretty good. Oh, it's even A class. This thing's worth five mil. Heck to the yeah! Quick transfer. I mean, it's ugly as shit. And, yeah, fixing this sucker is going to be unpleasant. Uh, let's see. Why don't we quick transfer a couple of these things for a bit, considering my inventory is a little bit on the full side. Uh, is that everything back? I think it is. Let's leave it alone for a second. But, yeah, I can, I can hold at least a little bit. Oh. I really hate the fact that it has such a weird short range. But yeah, it's going to take forever to fix that thing. But as far as, like, free ships go, that ranks really freaking high. Let's see. Is there anything that I immediately can get rid of? Let's get rid of the spare ferrite dust. Anything else I can get rid of? Dihydrogen. We're almost out of it. I guess I should probably move over the larval cores, because that's that's the most useful thing. Like, I'm not even sure if I need this. Let's get rid of the poop. We don't need all this poop. Which is the gold worth, out of curiosity. Gold's actually worth a fair bit, so if you need a lot of money, just hang out in space shooting rocks for a while. Let's see. 
Charge my suit and tool. That is a good point. Okay, we should have enough to move over, though. Can you have more than one ship? Yes, but... Uh, when it comes to, like, picking up crash ships... You can only have one. Uh, let's see. Let's see, I'm pretty sure I can't... bust these up, but that's okay. Let's claim this Shonkers. Okay, so let's rename this to... Okay, so we got Hunk. It looks like a weird space platform. They really added a lot of interesting bits here. So we need Platinum to fix up a lot of these things. Like, straight up looking at this, fixing this sucker is not going to be very pleasant. I don't even know where to get Paraffinium or Pug... Pugnium in large quantities. I know you can get paraffinium on this planet. Honka Junka. Ooh, I like Honka Junka. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of platinum. What do I need for this? Looks like hermetic seals, platinum, some other things. At least we get the efficient thrusters, which is kind of nice. Oh, you can straight up move tech now. That's nice. What about in the tech tab? Oh. Yeah, we also have radiation leaks, hull fractures, containment failures, damaged gears. I wonder if these are actual, like, tech or... Yeah, probably just slot cannot be used. Okay. Cripes. We're gonna need copper for days. At least... Can it fly? I'm assuming no. No, the pulse pulse engine needs the the plating and the, the hermetic seals. Launch thruster still works though. Uh ah. Oh. Well, I'm just gonna eat my peas. Craft product. Uh, let's see. What do we need for the hermetic seal? Men's carbon. Luckily, we got a bunch of that. This is one of those situations where I needed, like, just a smidge more inventory space. And lacking that. Oof. 